Hey there, folks. Rob the Ignorant Entrepreneur here with a head scratcher that might leave you wondering what's going on. In 2021, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia dropped a bombshell by announcing their ambitious plans to build a colossal desert city, and they gave it a straightforward name, The Line. But as it turns out, basic math suggests that this city should actually be the circle. Picture this. The line stretching a jaw-dropping 110 miles from the Red City to Tabuk with an estimated 9 million future residents, all without cars. Instead, it relies on a high-speed rail system to zip folks from one end to the other in just 20 minutes. Sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, right? Well, not everyone is convinced. The Complexity Science Hub in Vienna, Austria did some number crunching and discovered a rather inconvenient truth. If you were to randomly select two residents of the line, they'd be an average of 57 kilometers, 35 miles apart. That's quite a hike for neighbors, don't you think? To put this in perspective, if you did the same random selection in Johannesburg, a sprawling city, those two folks would only be 33 kilometers, 20 miles apart. Despite Johannesburg being much larger, it's like trying to connect the dots on opposite sides of a giant canvas. But wait, the researchers aren't just playing the role of naysayers, they've got an alternative plan in mind, the circle. Instead of the straight line concept, they suggest using the same buildings but arranging them in a circle. Sounds simple, right? Well, this change on paper would create a city only four miles in diameter, packing nine million residents into a space the size of Pisa, Italy. Picture it. Residents could walk to nearly 25% of the city, and with just a mile more, they'd be within 66% of it. Plus, the average distance between two random residents would be around 1.8 miles. Now that's what we call neighborly. But here's the kicker. The line is already under construction, so it seems we're getting a straight line city, whether the math adds up or not. So what do you think of this fascinating urban experiment? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more intriguing updates and stay curious. This has been Rob the Ignorant Entrepreneur and I'm out.